When I was five or six, I read a book on astronomy. I was precocious, and uh, the book noted that the middle star in the handle of the Big Dipper was double. That seemed wild to me, so I got my parents to let me stay up way past my normal bedtime, and we looked out at the night sky, and sure enough, there were actually two stars very close to each other. The book also noted that with a small telescope, you could see that one of those two stars was itself double. The idea that stars are born in groups and in lots and interact strongly with each other hypnotized me and made me want to be an astronomer when I was five or six, and I never changed my mind. I'm very interested in the long-term evolution of very strongly interacting binary stars. Nothing has changed since I was five years old. A significant fraction of my time is spent with graduate students and with postdoctoral fellows, teaching them, but not in a classroom setting, actually doing research with them. Nine o'clock on Monday morning, I'm a very happy person. I look forward to going into work because it's really my hobby. I never do the same thing twice. Research means that you're always pushing yourself, you're always looking for the next problem, solving the next problem. And I get to work with wonderful young people, mentoring them, teaching them, pushing them also, debating with them. So it's really a very, very fun occupation. And occasionally, uh, I hit a single, occasionally a double, and very rarely a grand slam home run in the research. It's a th still a thrill to see a paper appear in the Astrophysical Journal with my name on the masthead. I'm doing a survey of the entire Milky Way to find all of the five or six or eight thousand pre-supernova stars, things that we think are pre-supernova stars, and then I need to wait. I need to wait years or decades or maybe centuries until one of them goes off. Now, I may be long dead when the next one happens. Nevertheless, if a bright supernova goes off and it's in my catalog, that supernova is going to be attached to me and to my research group, and I will have proved even posthumously, which is fine, that that kind of star gives rise to a supernova. There isn't a lot of instant gratification in astrophysics, and this is a classic example of waiting a bit longer. Astronomy is a big extended family. Uh, we're all connected to each other, or there's no more than about one degree of separation between me and any astronomer on Earth. There are only five or 6,000 active research astronomers. I know at least 1,000 of them. So I'm connected to almost everyone. And that kind of family unity, uh, that kind of spirit of research, and the friendliness that you feel with other astronomers, that joint interest, that passion, is something that is almost priceless.